most human cells are frequently reproduced and replaced during the life of an individual. However, the process varies with the kind of cell. Somatic or body cells that make up skin, hair and muscles are duplicated by mitosis. The sex cells, sperm and ova are produced by meiosis in special tissues of male testes and female ovaries. Since the vast majority of our cells are somatic, mitosis is the most common form of cell replication. Cell division involves the distribution of identical genetic material DNA to daughter's cells. Cell cycle can be defined as entire sequence of events happening from the end of one nuclear division to the beginning of the next. The cell cycle involves the following three cycles. Number one, chromosome cycle. Number two, cytoplasmic cycle. Number three, centrosome cycle. Howard and Pelk, 1953, have divided cell cycle into four phases or stages Z1, S, Z2, and M phase. The Z1 phase, S phase, and Z2 phase are combined to form the classical interface, Z1 phase. After the M phase of previous cell cycle, the daughter cells begin Z1 of interface of new cell cycle. Z1 is a resting phase. It is called first gap phase, S phase. During the S phase or synthetic phase of interface, replication of DNA and synthesis of histone proteins occur. At the end of S phase, its chromosome has two DNA molecules and a duplicate set of genes. Z2, this is a second gap or growth phase or resting phase of interface. During Z2 phase, synthesis of RNA and protein continues which is required for cell growth. M phase A nuclear division mitosis followed by a cytoplasmic division cytokinesis. The period between mitotic divisions that is G1, S and G2 is known as interface. Mitosis is a form of eukaryotic cell division that produces two daughter cells with the same genetic components as the parent cell. The term mitosis was introduced by Walter Fleming in 1882. Chromosomes replicated during the synthetic phase are divided in such a way as to ensure that its daughter shell receives a copy of every chromosome. The replicated chromosomes are attached to a mitotic apparatus that aligns them and then separates the sister chromatids to produce an even partitioning of the genetic material. 
This separation of the genetic material in a mitotic nuclear division known as karyokinesis is followed by a separation of the cell cytoplasm in a cellular division known as cytokinesis to produce two daughter cells. Mitosis, although a continuous process, is conventionally divided into five stages prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Number one, prophase. The chromatin, which is diffused in interphase, slowly condenses into well defined chromosomes. The nuclear membrane breaks down to form a number of small vesicles and the nucleolus disintegrates. A structure known as the centrosome duplicates itself to form two daughter centrosomes that migrate to opposite ends of the cell. The centrosomes organize the production of microtubules that form the spindle fibers that constitute the mitotic spindle. This is a bipolar structure composed of microtubules and associated proteins. In this phase, the chromosomes condense into compact structures. Its replicated chromosome can now be seen to consist of two identical chromatids or sister chromatids held together by a structure known as the centromere. Number two, prometaphase. The chromosomes lead by their centromeres migrate to the equatorial plane in the midline of cell at right angles to the axis formed by the centrosomes. Number 3. Metaphase In the beginning of metaphase, specialized protein complexes called kinetochores mature on its centromere and attest to some of the spindle microtubules which are then called kinetochore microtubules. Number 4. Anaphase It is the shortest stage of mitosis. During anaphase, an enzyme called separase degrades the multi-protein complex called cohesins which held together the sister chromatids at their centromeres. The centromeres divide and the sister chromatids of each chromosome are pulled apart or disjoined and moved to the opposite end of the cell. The kinetochores are pulled by kinetochore spindle fibers and are assembled at the centrosomes. Number 5. Telophase It is the final stage of mitosis. The end of the polar migration of the daughter chromosomes marks the beginning of the telophase, which in turn is terminated by the reorganization of two new nuclei and their entry into the Z1 phase of interphase. The term meiosis was coined by J. V. Farmer in 1905. It is a specialized form of cell division in which number of chromosomes reduced to half. The stages of meiosis can be broken down into two main stages, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. 
meiosis 1 meiosis 1 can be broken down into four substages prophase 1 metaphase 1 anaphase 1 and telophase 1 meiosis 1 separates the pair of homologous chromosomes in meiosis 1 a special cell division reduces the cell from diploid to haploid phases of meiosis 1 number 1 prophase 1 the most of the significant processes of meiosis occur during prophase 1 and it is divided into five phases number 1 leptotin prophase 1 begin at the leptotin stage its chromosome is attached at both of the ends nuclear envelope via a specialized structure called an attachment plaque number two zygotin the zygotin stage of prophase to begin as soon as synapsis or intimate pairing between the two homologous is initiated the initial recognition requires that the homologs recognize each other from a distance number three pekaitin as soon as synapsis is complete all along the chromosomes the cells are said to have enter the pekaitin stage of prophase where they may remain for days number four diplotin or diplonema in diplonema unpairing or desynapsis of homologous chromosomes is started and chiasmata are first seen at this phase the chromatids of its tetrad are usually clearly visible but the synaptonemal complex appears to be dissolved leaving participating chromatids of the pure homologous chromosomes physically joined at one or more discrete points called chiasmata these points are where crossing over took place number five diakinesis in the diakinesis stage the bivalent chromosomes become more condensed and evenly distributed in the nucleus during diakinesis the chiasma moves from the centromere towards the end of the chromosomes and the intermediate chiasmata diminish this type of movement of the chiasmata is known as terminalization metaphase 1 metaphase 1 consists of spindle fiber attachment to chromosomes and chromosomal alignment at the equator during metaphase 1 the microtubules of the spindle are attached with the centromeres of the homologous chromosomes of its tetrad. The centromere of its chromosome is directed towards the opposite poles. The repulsive forces between the homologous chromosomes increase greatly and the chromosomes become ready to separate. Anaphase 1 Anaphase 1 homologous is freed from its other and due to the shortening of chromosomal fibers or microtubules its homologous chromosomes with its two chromatids and undivided centromere moves towards the opposite poles of the cell. Here, it should be carefully noted that the homologous chromosomes which moves towards the opposite poles are the chromosomes 
of either paternal or maternal origin. Telophase 1, the arrival of a haploid set of chromosomes at each pole defines the onset of telophase 1 during which nuclei are reassembled. The nucleolus reappears and thus two daughter chromosomes are formed. Meiosis 2, second meiotic division is actually the mitotic division which divides its haploid meiotic cell into two haploid cells. The second meiotic division includes following four stages. Number one, prophase two. In the prophase second, its centriole divides into two and thus two pairs of centrioles are formed. Each pair of centrioles migrates to the opposite pole. The microtubules get arranged in the form of spindle at the right angle of the spindle of first meiosis. The nuclear membrane and the nucleolus disappear. Number 2, Metaphase 2. During Metaphase 2, the chromosomes get arranged on the equator of the spindle. The centromere divides into two and thus each chromosome produces two daughter chromosomes. The microtubules of the spindle are attached with the centromere of the chromosomes. Number three, anaphase two. The daughter chromosomes move towards the opposite poles due to the shortening of chromosomal microtubules and stressing of interjournal microtubules of the spindles. Number 4. Telophase 2 The chromatids migrate to the opposite poles and now known as chromosomes. After the karyokinesis in each haploid meiotic cell the cytokinesis occurs and thus four haploid cells are resulted. These cells have different types of chromosomes due to the crossing over in the process 1. From the present paper, it can be said that most human cells are frequently reproduced and replaced during the life of an individual, a cell born after a division proceeds to grow by macromolecular synthesis, reaches a species determined division, size, and divides. Thank you.